I can play. I can play. If you love music and always wanted to play an instrument, well, now you can with the amazing Suzuki Q chord. It's easy. I learned in minutes. I can play, even with my arthritis. Like a player piano with song cards, it even plays by itself. Hi, my name is Lenny Zazik. I'm delighted to present this program on how to play the Suzuki Q chord. And I want to say right up front that first and foremost, please plan to have fun with your Q chord. It's a great instrument that you're sure to enjoy, whether you're a musician or not. Okay, the Q chord has a demonstration song built in. Let's press the demo button to begin playing the song, Michelle. Now, while the demo is playing, you can play along too. Using slight downward pressure, just move your fingers over the surface of the strum plate. Start by strumming from the bottom to the top. You can also put some fingers together and tap the surface. You can't hit a wrong note while the demo song is playing, so just strum along and have fun. With song cards like these, you can play other songs just as easily. Think of the cue chord as a player piano. The song, will be, the song card would be the piano roll. Let's demonstrate. Here's the opening where the card gets inserted. So I'm going to hold the card with the writing side up, insert it into the opening, positioning the card evenly in the slot, and then push firmly to engage the card so that it fits completely against the surface of the cue chord. So I'm going to select song number two. And then I'll press play. The song starts playing, and once again, you can strum along. Now there are 100 different voices or sounds that can be played on the strum plate. Let's take a closer look at the music and how to play it on the cue chord. Here's a song from one of the cue chord books. I'll just sing just a little bit to show you what I'm talking about. Press the F and strum. Please release me, let me go. It goes to B flat. For I don't love you anymore. Back to F. All right, now I'd like to demonstrate how to play the cue chord. I'm going to play a few songs for you. The first one I'm going to do is going to be Have I Told You Lately That I Love You? And I'm going to play this with chords that won't play the melody, but we'll just kind of strum along and sing along to the melody. Starting with C, and then strum along over here. Again, somehow. That time I switched over to playing melody using chords. And I can stop it by pressing the stop button. Now this time I'd like to demonstrate another song and we'll do uh, five foot two. I'm going to use the cartridge again and select sound or rhythm number 25. So when I press a button, I'm going to play it in the key of C. When I press a button, you hear the Dixieland playing in the background. On this side now, I'm going to tap the rhythm of the song to the, with the words five foot two, like that. There we go. To me, it's been the, it's the most ultimate uh, music instrument that you can get. It's so easy to play. I enjoy singing with it. I, when I sit down to play the cue chord, I completely lose track of time. I can sit there and when my husband comes in and says, are we going to have something to eat? I've lost complete, I've lost half of the day and don't even realize it. When you start playing it and practicing, you get lost in time with the cue chord. It's easy to play, it's affordable, 
It, um, it's relaxing. And I've always wanted to play a guitar. I bought one. I still can't play it, but I'm working at it. My wife bought me this cue cord, and I fell in love with it. So last Christmas, I bought her one, and now we both play together. Cue cord's not stressful. It's, on the contrary, it's very relaxing. Well, it's, it's an individual kind of instrument surrounded by a big band, if you will.